my friends welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here my name is Jen I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW personal points happy October it is officially October it is the last 90 days of 2022 it completely blows my mind I'm not complaining though because this is my favorite time of the year and today today I'm bringing you my September favorites I have a lot of them. I have lots of WW foods. I have makeup. I have beauty. I have supplements. I have clothing. I have a lot of favorites to share with you. I actually had to whittle them down a little bit because this would have been a really, really long video, but I'm very excited to share with you all of the things that I have been loving in the month of September. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload five videos every week and we do a favorites every single month. Check out the description box down below where I will list everything I shared with you today with the exception of the things you can find at your local grocery store for easy shopping so you can make some of my favorites your favorites. You'll also find nutrition coaching, personalized macros and calories. This is how I've lost over 125 pounds and it is essential for success. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability as well. You'll also find links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. It is free and we would love to have you. So come on over and join us there. So let's jump into this plethora of September favorites. So as always, I'm going to start with my WW food favorites. And like I said, I have a lot of them. First, we're going to start with these. This is a frozen food. I want to get this back into my freezer, but these are from the brand Lolly, L-A-H-L-I, and these are the morning protein bites. Now I picked these up at Costco. These are delicious. They are all the fall feels. So what is in here? These are the harvest and there's all natural chicken sausage, cage-free eggs, sweet potato, yellow squash, kale, and caramelized onions. They taste like sausage stuffing that you have on Thanksgiving. They are really, really good. And you actually get four of them for 130 calories and there's 10 grams of protein. You can throw these in your microwave, your oven, your air fryer. My favorite way to cook them is in the air fryer. They're really good. Really, really good. They're about that big a piece and you get four of them for the points and calories. Again, I picked these up at Costco. I cannot recommend them enough. They are so incredibly delicious and a great way to start your morning off with 10 grams of protein. Next up are these chips. I actually shared these for the first time in this last week's What I Eat in a Day. I'll link that video down below if you missed it. But these are the Quavos. These are egg white chips. So these are chips made from egg whites. I will tell you, you would never know that they're made from egg whites. They taste like regular potato chips, crunchy, delicious, full of flavor. This particular flavor is honey mustard. There is eight grams of protein per bag, which is insane for chips. They are gluten-free and there's four grams of net carbs. The calories range from about 130 to 150 per bag and they are so good. I mean, incredibly good. I actually saw these on Shark Tank and then immediately went to Amazon and ordered the pack that has five bags, all five of the flavors and every single flavor is incredible. There's dill pickle, there's barbecue, there's honey mustard. I mean, the flavors are so good and you would never know that you're eating a chip made from egg whites. I promise you these are some of the best chips I've ever tried. I love them so much. I'm on subscribe and save. They come once a month to my doorstep. That's how much I love them. And honestly, I may change that to every two weeks because I really, really like them. And it's a great way to get an eight grams of protein shipped to your doorstep from Amazon. Highly recommend. Next up is a coffee creamer that I fell in love with. Surprisingly, didn't think that I would. And this is from the brand Super Creamer. And this is the pumpkin pie. You know, I love pumpkin anything. This creamer is delicious. It has very, it has the perfect pumpkin pie taste. It is one tablespoon for five calories and there's one gram of protein per tablespoon. I like to put in like four or so tablespoons, 20 calories, four grams of protein. You can't beat it. It's creamy. And like I said, the pumpkin spice flavor is on point. It is not a super sweet coffee creamer. I mean, there is a little bit of sweetness, but it is not a super sweet coffee creamer. But if you love pumpkin pie, this is pumpkin pie in a coffee creamer. Speaking of pumpkin, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these. This was an impulse buy at Walmart. These are the Great Value Pumpkin Spice Baking Chips. These are so good. I mean, so good. If you follow me over on Instagram, I'll put it right here. If you don't, definitely come follow me. I post 
every day in my stories, several times a day usually. I do share a lot of the foods that I'm eating, lots of pictures, things like that. I shared these as a little dessert concoction that I made with a light and fit pumpkin pie yogurt, some granola, and one serving of these pumpkin spice chips. These are so good. They're sweet, they're spicy. You get one tablespoon for 80 calories. So they are a little bit higher in points, but it's well worth it. I can't wait to come up with all these fun recipes utilizing these chips. They're really good. I mean, some of the best pumpkin spice flavor chips I've ever had, and they're affordable because they're the great value brand. We're gonna stay on the pumpkin pie train, and we're gonna talk about this yogurt. Now, I picked this up on a whim at Sprouts, and this is a new container because I like it that much that I bought three more of them. This is from the brand Nano's, Nano's, I believe, and this is their pumpkin spice Greek strained yogurt. Oh my gosh, this is so decadent. It tastes like custard with this yummy pumpkin pie filling. It's 150 calories for the yogurt. It is a little bit higher in points, but it is so decadent. It feels like you are indulging in this amazing high-end dessert. It's so good. It's so, so good. I really, really love it. And there's 14 grams of protein in here because it's a Greek yogurt. Absolutely incredible. If you want a little bit of a splurge, if you want a really good dessert that still has 14 grams of protein and you love pumpkin, definitely give this a try. Now the last pumpkin thing I have, I know, I could go on and on with my pumpkin finds, is the Quaker Oatmeal Pumpkin Spice Flavored Little Oatmeal Packets. Now I bought these at Target, Troy and I did a taste test, and I've tried a lot of pumpkin flavored oatmeal, but this one, hands down is the best. It's sweet, it's spicy, you really taste the pumpkin. I find with a lot of the other brands, it just tastes kind of cinnamon, it doesn't really give me pumpkin. This is pumpkin. It's 160 calories per packet. Now there isn't a lot of protein in here, so I always add a scoop of vanilla protein powder to it, or the Devotion Angel Food Cake is so good mixed into here. Just add a little bit of extra liquid to compensate for the protein powder, but you can amp up the protein and still have this sweet pumpkin oatmeal. This one, absolutely delicious. Like I said, I got it at Target. I've seen it at Walmart. I've seen it at Kroger. You can probably find this at any of your local grocery stores. Now let's talk about a salad dressing. This is a repurchase. I've already used an entire container and I just picked up this second one from Sprouts. This is the Sprouts brand organic fat-free zesty Italian dressing. This is the best Italian dressing I've ever had. You would never know that it's fat-free. It tastes like Olive Garden Italian. It is so incredibly good. I love that it is organic, made from nice, clean ingredients. It is only 15 calories for two tablespoons. So you can put a lot of this on your salad. What I like to do is make an Olive Garden-inspired salad, where I'm adding all the things in the Olive Garden salad, pepperoncinis and olives and tomatoes, and I add quite a bit of this because it's super low point, super low calorie, mix it all up really well, coat the lettuce, and it tastes like I'm indulging in Olive Garden salad at home for way less points and calories. So if you have a Sprouts near you, pick this up. Next are these. <laughs> They're in a little baggie because I've been eating a few of them here and there. These are the Lily's Sour Gummy Worms and the Lily's Gummy Bears. Now you know how much I love Smart Sweets. I bought these at Target just to try them out and I love these. These are so good. My favorite are the Sour Gummy Worms and the Gummy Bears, they legit taste like full sugar gummy bears. I have to say that I like the Lily's Gummy Bears better than the Smart Sweets. I think they have more authentic flavor. There's no weird aftertaste. Also, they're only 70 calories for the entire bag. I really love these. I found these, both of these at Target. So check your local Target. But if you love candy, but you want a lower point, lower calorie option, the Lilies are really good. This is another one of my very favorite snacks. This is a new bar from Verb Energy. These are their Verb caffeinated snack bars. Now, I shared these in my recent What I Eat in a Day as well. They have two grams of sugar per bar, one bar equals a shot of espresso. So for me, this is a great afternoon snack. When you get that like two o'clock, three o'clock slump, this will give you the energy that you need to make it through the rest of your day. 90 to 100 calories per bar, three points per bar. I have the chocolate peanut butter cup and the peanut butter cookie. The chocolate peanut butter cup tastes like a no-bake legit no-bake cookie, and the peanut butter cookie is my all-time favorite flavor. It is like a crunchy peanut butter ball. It is so incredibly good. These, again, are a great afternoon snack, a great little pick-me-up, fantastic pre- and post-workout snack. I always have one of these in my gym bag if I get to the gym and I'm feeling a little bit hungry. There's even been times partway through my workout I'm a little bit hungry. I'll have one of these, and it gives me that energy boost, 
and they taste delicious. So I'll go ahead and link these down below with a massive discount for you. Highly recommend the Ver Bars. They're delicious. They are so, so good, and you can't beat a little bit of a caffeine boost. Next up are these protein granola bars, I guess you would call them, from the brand Ready Clean. Now, I bought the chocolate peanut butter. Now, I bought these at Walmart based on a recommendation from someone in my Facebook group. I took these to Hawaii, took these to California, these are delicious. They taste like a full sugar granola bar, but they have clean ingredients, 15 grams of protein, seven grams of fiber, and six and a half grams of whole grains. There are 200 calories per bar. They are really, really good. And unlike regular granola bars, they actually fill you up. I find that these keep me nice and full. Now, again, I found these at Walmart. I'm going to see if I can find these on Amazon. I'll link them down below, wherever I can find them for you. They have three or four different flavors. Again, I have the chocolate peanut butter. These are delicious. If you love granola bars, but you have a protein goal, these are definitely the way to go. I can't wait to try out some of the other flavors. And my last WW food favorite comes from Non Bread, Stonefire Non Bread. These are the Non Rounds. Now, I love Non Bread but they are very, very high in calories, very, very high in points. I love the little dippers that you can dip in all the kinds of dip, but they're really high in calories and points. And I saw these and I had to get them and try them out. And as you can see, I've used up a lot of them. I love these. You actually get two rounds for 180 calories. There's five grams of protein in two rounds. So you can use these to make a sandwich, kind of like what's shown in the picture. But what I like to do with these is make a breakfast sandwich. So I take one non round, I add whatever I want to it, usually a laughing cow cheese, an egg, sometimes some turkey bacon or center cut bacon, some avocado, and I make kind of an open-faced breakfast sandwich. That way it's only 90 calories for the non bread, which is the same as a slice of regular bread. And this is just chewy and soft and delicious. I also am very in love with little mini pizzas. I've been making little mini pizzas in my oven or air fryer with these. And again, you can't beat it for 90 calories for one of them, 180 for two. I I just find that I can get my non bread fix for less points and calories. I truly, truly love these. I found these in the deli section at Walmart. Next, I want to share a clothing favorite with you, actually a bra favorite. If you follow me, you know that I am on the journey for potential plastic surgery to help reconstruct my chest area after such massive weight loss. And I have also been on the hunt now for a long time for a good bra that actually picks everything up and puts it back where it should, is affordable, helps camouflage the little bit of extra fat that I have left on my back from my weight loss, and I have fallen in love, and when I say in love with these bras, I mean in love because I have all of these. That is how much I love the HSI a bras. I'm going to share with you all of the bras that I've been loving. I'll go ahead and pop prices up here on the screen for you. And these bras not only add the lift that I need, they're very comfortable. They are made of breathable material, high quality fabrics and lace, and they all help camouflage my back fat. I always like to choose a bra that has a little bit wider band because for me, I find that that's the most flattering on my shape and with the situations that I still have when it comes to my breasts and my back. This is the first bra that I picked up. Isn't the color absolutely beautiful? I also love that the back looks like a sports bra. So it's very, very flattering. It has this really pretty kind of flower floral lace design, adjustable straps. It is the softest, most comfortable material. And I also appreciate that there is a little padding in the cup because for me that helps lift everything up and it is a front close bra as well, which I don't generally love front close bras, but I really, really, really love this front close bra, close bra. I love the back of it. I love how flattering it is, how it lifts everything up. It's so incredibly comfortable. Vertical seams really give that support that I need. The next one I picked up is this beautiful blush colored, more lacy bra. So this one does not have any padding. The cup of it is lacy. It does have adjustable straps. And again, we have the wider band in the back, which we know that I love that helps camouflage all the good back fat. I like the pressure relief straps and bands because it takes the pressure off of my shoulders. I am pretty large chested and I can get a little bit of pressure and pain in the shoulder area and these adjustable pressure relief band straps as well as the band in the back that by the way is fully adjustable on three different notches really helps take that pressure off. And then I grabbed a black bra as well. Same kind of lacy design. This is an underwire bra. What I really liked how wide the back band was on this one for a really pretty lacy more sexy bra. I I really appreciate the wide back. 
because that does just help camouflage any area on your back that you just don't love about your body. And granted, my back fat, my back rolls have greatly diminished, but they're still there. So I always like to get a bra with that wider band to help diminish that a little bit. But this one is one of my favorites. I love the underwire. It's a comfortable underwire. It doesn't pop out at all and it offers a lot of support. Isn't this green so stunning? This again is a little bit more of a lacy bra. This particular one, I do really like this added feature. There is a little bit of a mesh panel on the inside of the cup that helps with anything coming through that you don't want to come through in your bra. And I really love the lace of the HSIA bras. The lace ones are my absolute favorite. That's the majority of what I purchased. Again, a nice wide back. You have the adjustable straps and the three adjustable clips in the back so that you can make it fit around you perfectly. And I just love the green color of this. I think it's this, pre it's this pretty kind of forest mossy green. Very, very beautiful. Again, a nice underwire with this lace scalloped detail. Another lace bra, but look how fun this is. This has this little strap right above the cup for a little bit of more added sexy detail. Again, we have a nice underwire with that lace scallop and of course a wider band across the back. I really appreciate this sewn in elastic in all of these bras. It makes them feel very secure and offers that little extra bit of support. And with this black one, again, just this added detail is so beautiful. And then lastly, I had to grab a white bra for those lighter white shirts. I've been wearing a lot more white than I ever used to wear before, and I did not own a white bra. And again, I really, really like, like I said, their lace bras. It's the same type of lace bra as the green one, and it does have that extra panel on the inside for a little bit of extra coverage. I love the boning in this one. So you can see that there is a little bit of boning, which for me, I have some extra skin right here and it helps kind of push that in and keep that into place. And that is what makes me look bigger around is this extra skin. And these bras are great for holding all of that in and the boning feature really just sucks everything in on the sides, making you look a little bit more slim. Again, adjustable straps. And the back of this one is lace, which I really like. Even that pretty like scalloped lace at the bottom, that is still a wide band for helping with the back area. This white one, I've really, really been getting a lot of use out of and loving. I will link all of the HSIA bras that I purchased and have been loving. I love every single one. You cannot go wrong with them. And one great thing about these bras is they are extremely high quality and super, super affordable. If you use the code JC15, you'll get an extra 15% off. And they have some really great sales going on right now on their website. They have buy one bra, get a second bra, 50% off, and you get a free gift. And there are so many bras to choose from all of the colors that you could ever desire, different styles of bras, everything from more sports bra, lacy bra, full coverage, medium coverage, light coverage. I can't praise these bras enough. I can't wait to order more. And this has been my go-to bra. So again, I'll link everything down below for you. Definitely pick them up. They are seriously the best bra that I've tried. Now, before we jump into beauty and makeup, I have to share with you guys this supplement. I shared this in a What I Eat in a Day. I've shared this on my Facebook group. I am in love with this supplement. This is from the brand Stelace, and this is the world's first conscious sleep solution. So this is a supplement that helps you sleep. I have shared so many times that I struggle with sleep. I don't struggle necessarily going to sleep, but I wake up during the night and then I can't go back to sleep because my mind is reeling. I'm thinking about all the things that I need to do and I lay there for sometimes hours trying to go back to sleep. So when I wake up in the morning, I'm exhausted. I don't even feel like I've slept and I feel like I just need to turn around and go back to bed. But I've been taking Stelace now for well over a month and my sleep issues are completely gone completely gone. Not only do I fall asleep, I stay asleep and I wake up feeling more refreshed than ever. There are some great adaptogens in this supplement that make it all natural and extremely effective. Valerian root and hops, ashwagandha root, and L-theanine are the thing, are the adaptogens in here that make this standalone from any other sleep, sleep supp supplement. It is safe to use, and like I said, you wake up feeling refreshed. So not only does it help you fall asleep, stay asleep, but you also feel really good when you wake up. It's affordable if you sign up for their subscribe and save, you actually get a bigger discount. That's what I do. It's just delivered to me once a month. You, you take two capsules 30 to 45 minutes before you go to bed, give it time to absorb, kick into your body, and you're going to have the best night's sleep you've ever had. And we know how important sleep is when it comes to weight loss. This is a staple for me. This is probably my most favorite of the favorites for the month. I absolutely 
absolutely love this. So I'll link this down below with a discount for you guys. Please, if you struggle for sleep, pick this up. It's going to literally change your entire sleep game. Now let's jump into some beauty and makeup favorites, but first I have a hair favorite. This was a recent discovery for me and I love it. I've actually already went over to Ulta and bought another one. This is from the brand Bedhead and this is the Masterpiece Extra Hold Hairspray. Now, I don't use a lot of hairspray, but I want my hairspray to hold all day and I don't wanna have to use a lot of it, but I also want it to not leave my hair feeling crunchy and gross and get those white flakes. This is the best hairspray I have ever used. Literally, and your hair stays all day. I have a tiny bit in my hair today and it will hold all day. I can work out with this and my hair will hold. I have these little loose pieces kind of down here and when I put my hair up, they fall down and they just look unkept and messy. A spritz of this, my hair will stay all day. Right now it's on sale at Ulta, so I'll link it down below on Ulta. That's where I purchased it. I don't know where else you can buy Bedhead, but I find that it's affordable at Ulta. Get the Masterpiece Hairspray if you want Stronghold without Krusty. This e.l.f. Game Up Setting Spray has been a game changer for me. I truly, truly love this. This is the Shield Me Setting Spray. Now, I bought this when e.l.f. released this Game Up collection, and this setting spray is glorious. It's actually what I use today to set my makeup. It leaves your face feeling hydrated but it doesn't disturb your makeup and it has some shielding properties supposedly from blue light which I don't really buy but they claim to have that as well but for a setting spray and for an affordable setting spray honestly this is the best one that I've tried and I've actually repurchased this is my second one super affordable because it's elf and it's a great hydrating makeup setting spray one skincare product that I have to share with you I actually bought this during the Ulta 21 days of beauty this is from the brand ritual ritual defeat and this is the thorn oil now I watched Teresa is dead on on YouTube she's a makeup creator she is fantastic and hilarious. I'll link her channel down below for you. She's always talking about this thorn oil. So this is an oil primer. So you'll apply this to your face prior to makeup and the glow this gives your skin is insane. And you can see that glow under your makeup. So this is actually what I have on today as my primer. It adds hydration and the glow. The glow seriously is insane, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling oily. So even if you have oily skin, this is such a great primer. It is full of all good skincare ingredients. You can see I've used quite a bit of it. I really, really love this and I will forever repurchase this and I'm so grateful that I picked it up and bought it during the 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta because it's amazing. It's truly, truly amazing. Of course, perfume. Now, I have been buying myself Dossier perfume every month, one or two different scents because you know how much I love it. I share it a lot here on my channel because it really is some of the best perfume out there for the most affordable price. What Dossier does is recreates high-end fragrances for affordable prices. So 29 to $39 per fragrance rather than hundreds of dollars per fragrance. And they are dead on matches to the high-end fragrance. And those prices are before any discounts. And they're always offering deals on their website. I'll link an additional discount down below for you that you can piggyback on with whatever discount dossier is offering. But I love their perfume. And every time they come out with some new scents, I love to try them out because they're affordable. So I don't feel bad about really splurging and buying myself a couple of fragrances every month. So these are the two that I picked up at the beginning of September that I've been living for the entire month. This is what the packaging looks like. It makes a great gift. The bottles are glass, really nice quality, and I love that they have a magnet lid because these are the perfumes I keep in my purse because I never have to worry about the lid falling off and it making a huge mess. So I always have at least one fragrance in my purse. So for September, I picked up the Fruity Honey. This is inspired by Joe Malone Nectarine Blossom in Honey Cologne. So this is kind of a fruity sweet scent which I really have been enjoying kind of ending out summer and moving into fall. The notes of this, the top notes are black currant and green leaves. The middle notes are honey and nectarine and the base notes are pe peach and velveteer. It's delicious. If you love a sweet kind of floral scent, you're gonna love this. Mm. She is so yummy, it smells so good and I love Jo Malone fragrances but they are so expensive. I love that I can pick up the recreated from Dossier and get the whole high-end vibe for a much more affordable price. This just smells so delicious. And I picked up a second fragrance and that is the Floral Pear. So again, the super nice glass bottle, the magnetized lid, and this is a 
Another Jo Malone inspired perfume. I really went with the whole Jo Malone vibe for September and this is inspired by her English pear and Freja cologne. So again, that kind of fruity floral vibe. This one has a little bit more of a floral undernote, but I don't love floral fragrance and I love this one. So the undernote is a little stronger, but it's still balanced out with the sweetness. So your top notes in this one are pear, bergamot, watermelon, and rhubarb. Love that. Your middle notes are quinoa, rose, freesia, and orange blossom. And your base notes are woody notes of musk and amber. Now, I don't like rose scented things and I don't smell that in this. So somehow the rose in this one just really works. Mm, I need this today. This one is a little bit more woodsy, so it has a little bit more musk to it, a little bit more floral, but still definitely has the sweetness from the fruit notes. It's so good. This is a really great fall fragrance. So I've been loving the floral honey kind of ending out summer and then the floral pear moving into fall, but I love Dossier. They recreate the high-end fragrances so well. They smell exactly like them. The longevity of the perfume is really, really great as well. And the packaging and everything is so nice. They would make a great gift a gift for anyone else or even a gift for yourself. And what's really, really cool about Dossier is they have a new payment method that lets you earn store credit. Select catch as the last step of checkout and you earn $10 sign-on bonus credit. So $10 towards perfume and you get rewarded with 10% store credit on every single order. But it's a rewards program for Dossier. So not only can you double dip your discounts, but you can also earn $10 when you sign up and 10% on every purchase. That's what I do. I've actually gotten a fragrance for free here and there and some really great discounts. So I'll link everything about Dossier down below for you. Next up are a couple makeup products. And this one, every time I wear this, you guys always ask what's on my lips. And this is from Fenty Beauty. And this is the Cream gloss. It's this really pretty kind of mauve pink color. I like to wear a pink lip liner and then add a little bit of this gloss. It stays all day. It isn't sticky at all and it gives this opaque pretty wash of pink. Like I said, every time I wear this, you guys always ask what's on my lips. This is it. It's a fast favorite for me. It's one that I've been using a lot this month. Now this is a trial size, but I've already purchased the full size as well. This is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I'm kind of a mascara snob, even though I wear a lot of artificial lashes. When I don't wear lashes, I want a mascara that's really going to add length, volume, and blackness to my lashes. I was blown away by this little sample right here. So blown away that I bought the full size, two of them actually. This is the best mascara I've ever used. It's not expensive. It's not drugstore prices. It kind of falls right in the middle. It is worth every single penny. I love the wand of it. It's kind of a mix between a fluffy wand and a plastic wand. It's huge. So it really just gets in and adds that volume and length to your lashes. It is so good. I was literally blown away and it's become a fast favorite. And as always, we're going to end out my favorites with my eyeshadow palette favorite, Tarte Man Eater. This is the brand new palette from Tarte. I actually took this palette with me when I went to Hawaii and all of my eye looks that I created on my trip were with this palette. I'm obsessed with it. And I am not even a neutral girl. I am a colorful eyeshadow girl, but this palette, the quality of the mattes, the quality of the shimmers, I love that it's a neutral palette with a twist. So we've got a nice pretty shimmery green, this mustard yellow, gorgeous. There's some purples, some pinks. There's even a pretty white here to help blend and diffuse out the colors. This palette is exceptional. Dare I say the best mainstream release so far this year. It is a little bit more pricey of a palette, but it's a big palette. It does have a mirror and the packaging is so nice. It's kind of this like black leopard print and then it has gold on the back. It's sleek, it's thin, it's perfect for travel. You have to have this palette. It is so good if you love neutral, if you love neutral with a little bit of color. The formula is a million out of 10. I am completely impressed with this Tarte palette and it has been the one I've used the most in the month of September. So those are all of my September favorites. Whew, that was a lot. We had a lot of WW foods, some beauty, some perfumes, some bras. We had so much great favorites. I will link everything down below for you with any sales or discounts, the best and most affordable prices. It will all be down below for you. And if you enjoyed my favorites, I give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I do a favorites every month and I do upload five videos per week. Check out again, the description box down below for the favorites, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget to come on over, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you happy and happy October friends. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.